Yar me hearties, in this vid- Yeah, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. Have you ever felt the need to live like a pirate? Sailing the oceans, getting scurvy, and dying. Yeah, me neither. But if you do like the sound of that for some reason, then this base should be perfect for you. I've also just decided, like right now, that I'll include this cute little boat design in the tutorial too, just for the hell of it, and we'll build this one first. I should also mention that both of these builds were created with my good old pal old buddy, Extra Builds. Oh my. You right? <laughs> So be sure to check out his Instagram page, link in the description. Alright, let's get started with the tour. Okay, so starting off the tour, we're of course going to be taking a look around the exterior of the boat. So starting from the very top, as you can see, we have a nice little pirate flag thing, and that leads us down to our two different sails. We got one at the middle of the boat and one towards the back. Then up here in the top section, we have where the wheel would be. This is the best design I could come up with for the wheel, so... Yeah? <laughs> I mean, it looks good from this angle, but from here you can clearly tell that it's uh, just a lectin with some <laughs> some books under there. So uh, just, yeah, don't worry about that. We have some nice little decoration blocks up here with a couple of chests and a crafting table and stuff like that. And then taking a look around the sides here, we have some nice little windows that open up into our bedroom area. We'll get to that in just a second. We also have a pretty cool looking design where we've got some spruce and then it goes down into some oak wood and then back to spruce and then back to oak. It just kind of makes it look a little bit more visually interesting, in my opinion. On the side here we've also got some cool cannon designs we've got them on both sides and then on this side we've also got our ladder up into the ship so we can depart from our dock here and uh, I'm also going to recommend that you build this dock I have a tutorial for this on my channel it's a little bit old but it still works and this is a really cool design to go with your boat you can just obviously you can't move the boat once you've built it unfortunately so having it parked up next to a ocean dock like this would look pretty cool in my opinion but yeah so we can jump off our dock and up our ladder here and that'll bring us to the main deck of the boat. I don't really know all of the names for the boat stuff, so uh, yeah. So on top of here, we got just pretty much a bunch of decorations. All of our useful stuff is down below. So we've got more cannons on this side. This is supposed to be like a cannonballs kind of design. And then leading up over here, we can actually have a look at this, which is a capstan. This is what you use to kind of release and drop the anchor. And this is obviously directly connected up to an anchor here that goes all the way down to the ocean floor. And to make this, all we really need is two armor stands and a couple of pistons. I'll of course show you how to do this in the tutorial. It's pretty cool though. I came up with this all by myself and I'm pretty proud of it. So heading up the stairs on either side here, we can just head up to the second floor, which is where we'd obviously steer the boat. And that's all there really is to up here. So now we can head back down and through our door to like the main kind of quarters area. We've got two different beds for if you have two players living here. And we've also got personal storage linked up to each bed. So you can kind of just put in whatever items you wanted. Now heading down the ladder to the bottom floor of the boat. As you can see, we have a bunch of double chests. I've kind of crammed in as much stuff as I can. It's not really elegant looking down here because I wanted this base to be kind of practical even though the idea of it isn't really that practical. I wanted to just fit in as much stuff as I could. So we've got a bunch of double chests. We've got 12 in total. Actually, we've got 14 in total. There's two more over here and we have barrels as well crammed up here. Heading towards this way, we have our smelting, crafting and brewing area. We've got six regular furnaces, a blast furnace and a smoker tucked away down here. We've got our usual crafting table, anvil, smithing table and a grindstone as well. And then we've got four brewing stands. There isn't any water to go with these but another cool feature is you can actually just run over here directly below the ladder and fill up your water bottles directly from the ocean uh, which might be kind of weird uh, please forgive me if your potions taste a little bit salty and another cool feature is you can actually quickly leave the boat from down here if you really wanted to you could just jump through and into the water and then just swim out another cool feature is you can actually quickly access down here from the top of the boat here with these trap doors these are meant to be kind of like skylights for down below but you can open them up and drop down straight into your furnace area which which is pretty cool. You could also replace one of these furnaces with a block and make this into a full block and put ladders here if you wanted another quick entrance like kind of out of your base as well back up to the top floor. And yeah, so that's pretty much all there really is to the boat. It's obviously not the most practical base design, but it does fit a lot of the essentials. But yeah, the whole purpose of this is mainly meant to be aesthetic. You'd kind of build this next to your dock or something like that just to look cool. But for those of you that do want to live in this, you can of course do that. And now, like I mentioned in the intro, I'm actually going to start off by building that little mini boat I showed you which should only take a couple of minutes. Feel free to of course skip ahead if you want to get straight into the tutorial for this big boat. 
All right, so for this mini boat, all you're gonna need is just the blocks in my hot bar below. That's everything you need for this. I'm gonna be using this piece of kelp to place our first item, which is a spruce slab. And this is gonna be the center of our boat here. Now you might need a couple of extra blocks in order to place these stair blocks. So I'm just gonna place two away from this and destroy the middle one so that we can place some spruce stairs kind of like this. Then I'm gonna destroy this slab and place it back, but just one up above like so. Then we're gonna do the same thing on this side here. So place two slabs like so, so that we can place a stair block. Then we're gonna remove this slab and place some upside down stairs. This is going to be the back of the boat. And to mark that out, we can place our three spruce fences and then finally a white banner on top like so. Then on top of this slab on the very end here, we can place a lantern. Then we can use this lantern and stand on top of it to place our boat that's going to be in the center. So to get the placement right, we pretty much just want to place directly in the center of this slab block like so. If it's not perfect, just replace it or you can even get in the boat and kind of steer it around to get the placement perfect. Now all that we're going to do is cover up the sides with some spruce trap doors like so. And then for the final thing, we're going to remove this kelp block because it's in the way and place a single spruce trapdoor on the bottom right here. And there we go. We're fully done with our tiny, cute little boat. And just before we get started on the big boat, I actually have made a bunch of other boat sizes with extra. So if you want to see any of these in a future tutorial, be sure to let me know. We've also got a cool raft kind of base over here. And we've also got this other little boat as well. So if you want to see any of these in a tutorial video, be sure to let me know. And now let's get started in the pirate ship tutorial. Alright, so starting off, we're going to head to the edge of our dock or kind of area that we want to make our boat in. And to get all of the positioning correct, we're first going to be placing the ladder that we use to go up into the boat, just so that we can make sure it kind of lines up perfectly with the edge of our dock or whatever. So for this, we're going to be using some stripped spruce logs. I'm going to jump in the water here and kind of just build a couple of blocks out from our dock here. I'm also going to go one block down so that we can place three block high stripped spruce block pillar like so. And then we're also going to be placing three ladders on this. And so now that we've placed this, we're going to be jumping in the water with a bunch of oak slabs and now directly behind this here we're going to place two oak slabs like so and then once again behind this we're going to place another oak slab and then one below that and we're going to destroy this one that's up here now from this slab here we're going to place another two behind it so that it's three blocks wide and then from the center point here we're going to be placing five so one two three four five and this is where the front of our boat's going to be pointing so that means the front of our boat is going to be over this side and the back is going to be over on this side so now we're going to extend this three block wide kind of section here out to be 13 blocks long in total. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And now we're just going to fill in this entire area so that it's three blocks wide. And there we go, nice and simple. Now we're going to be adding in our anchor design. So we're going to go four blocks to the right from this point here. So one, two, three, four. And on this block here, we're going to be placing an additional slab. Then we're going to place a deep slate tile wall and then a spruce fence and kind of just alternate between these two until we reach the ocean floor. And now once we've reached the bottom here, we're going to be placing an anvil just to kind of make like a little anchor. Now you can of course just choose not to do this or you can use like a stone block or something instead as this can be a little bit expensive and it's kind of a waste as you're probably never going to see it. And now to finish up the bottom layer here, we're going to head to the very back side of the boat and we're going to be placing some oak trap doors. We're going to place four in total starting from the very end. Then we're going to repeat this on the other side as well and then on the back as well, we're going to be adding some more oak trap doors like so. And now we're fully done with the first layer of the boat and now it's time to move up to the second layer. So directly to the right of our oak plank block here, we're going to place some more oak planks. Then to the right of this, we're going to place two oak stairs and then back to two oak planks, then back to two oak stairs, then back to planks all the way until we reach the corner of the boat right here. Then let's head back over to this side and directly to the left of the ladder here, we're going to be placing a single oak stair block. Then behind this, we're going to place three oak plank blocks. So one, two, three, like so. Then to the left of this, we're going to place some oak stairs like this and then another the oak stair block like this so that it's kind of turned into a corner stair block and then finally we're going to place a temporary block right here so that we can place some more oak stairs like so now we're pretty much just going to repeat this exact same thing on this side here so some oak stairs like so we're also going to place these three planks so that we can place our stairs like this then we're going to place some oak stairs two oak planks then another two stair blocks then another two planks another two stairs and then back to planks all the way until we reach the corner over here 
Now heading back over to the first side, we're going to line ourselves up with the third oak trapdoor across here and place a single oak stairs. Then we're going to place two more to the left and right, and then another two. But instead, we're going to orient ourselves like this so that we can place the stairs in this kind of fashion. We're going to do the same on the right side as well. And then we're going to place some oak trapdoors coming away from each of those as well. Then let's just quickly repeat this on the other side. So oak stairs right here, then another two, and then another two in like the weird kind of way, and then some more oak trapdoors as well. Then for the very back of the boat here all we have to do is just place some more oak stairs all the way across like so now that's left to do for this layer of the boat here is place some oak trap doors in front of these solid blocks we're also going to place another two directly to the left of this stair block right here then we're just going to repeat this on the other side so another two oak trap doors here and then another two in front of these now onto the next layer which is very easy all we need for this is a bunch of stripped spruce logs and we're going to be placing these logs pretty much on the outside and just outline the entire thing with our logs so we can start off on top of these oak trap doors we're going to bring this all the way across here, all the way along the back of the boat and back along this way. Then from this point here, we're gonna go in and then we're gonna go back out on top of these and then back in all the way across. Then we're gonna skip this ladder block over to here and just, yeah, you pretty much get the point by now. We're just outlining the entire second layer with our stripped spruce logs. Now all that's left to do for this layer is place some spruce trap doors in front of these logs and we're actually gonna be removing these two. And yeah, now we're fully done with the third layer of the ship. Onto the fourth layer of the ship, we're once again going to head over over to our ladder here and then to the left and right we're going to be placing some upside down oak stairs then continuing on to the right we're going to be placing an additional two upside down oak stairs like so then when we transition over to this area we're going to be placing two oak planks then we're going to go back to two stairs then back to planks we're going to be placing two and then going back to stairs here then another plank then more stairs and then finally two planks like so then onto the back of the boat we're going to place an additional plank block here then three upside down oak stairs and then back to two planks then onto this side we're gonna place some more planks, some more stairs, planks, stairs, and then back to planks here. And yeah, we're pretty much repeating exactly what we did on the other side. So more stairs, planks. Then we're gonna go back to two stairs here. And I actually realized I messed this section up a tiny bit. So what we're gonna do to fix it is just grab two oak trap doors, place them here, and move these two blocks out to here. Uh, and that's my bad. I'm sorry about that. And so here we're gonna be transitioning back to two oak planks like so. And then another oak stairs right here. Then on top of these here, we're gonna be placing some oak planks on top of them. To the right of these oak stairs we're going to place a spruce trap door and now let's just quickly repeat this on the other side while we're at it then to the left of these planks here we're going to be placing two upside down oak stairs then we're going to place a block here and then some more stairs and then we're going to place another block here and then some more stairs then we're going to head over to this side place some more stairs here another block here and then some more stairs and then we can also come back up and remove this block as we don't need it anymore and then i almost forgot but we also need an oak slab right here and now we're fully done with this layer of the boat now onto the next layer we're going to once again head back to our ladder and then on top of these two oak stair blocks here we're going to place some spruce stairs like so then beside each of these we're going to place a polished blackstone block this is for the cannons if you can't be asked getting some blackstone then you can also substitute that with some polished deep slate now to the left of this blackstone block here we're going to place some spruce stairs like so and then we're going to place some more another two in total then on top of this oak stair block we're going to place some spruce planks and then another stair block like so then to the left of this spruce plank block we're going to place another oak stair stairs and then another oak stairs in this orientation so that it kind of creates like a corner stair block then on the very end block here we're going to place some more spruce planks then some more upside down spruce stairs a spruce slab in front of that and also a trap door like so and then we're going to place another two trap doors like so now we're just going to quickly repeat all of this on the other side then we're going to place a spruce plank block on top of here then some stairs and some more stairs like this so that it becomes a corner block then we're going to place some more stairs like this then we're going to head back over to here and align ourselves up with where our ladder is which is right here of course and on this block we're going to be placing some spruce planks we're going to place some more to the left and right of it and then in front of the central one here we're going to place a spruce trap door and then to the left and right of that some spruce signs then we're going to place two more polished blackstone blocks on the left and right here and then to the right of the right blackstone block we're going to place some spruce stairs like this and then a couple more like so now heading back over to here we're going to place another trap door on top of here and then we might as well just finish up our cannons while we're at it so in front of each of these blackstone blocks we're going to place two blackstone walls like so and then on top of them we're going to place some stone buttons and then behind them here we're going to place some levers 
And now let's just quickly repeat this on the other side as well. So buttons, levers, and then two polished blackstone walls like so. And I almost forgot, we're also gonna be placing some spruce stairs on these corner blocks right here as well. Now heading back over to this side of the boat, we're now going to continue to the right of this cannon here. So we're gonna be placing some spruce plank blocks all the way up until we meet this upside down stair block here. And we're not gonna be placing one on top of this as we're gonna be placing some spruce stairs. Then we're gonna go back to planks, then back to stairs, and then back to planks all the way to the end here. Now heading back over to the left, we're going to be placing a spruce sign directly to the right of this cannon. And then we're also going to place a spruce trap door. And then we're pretty much just going to alternate between these two all the way up until we reach this block here. So we're going to go back to a sign, trap door, trap door, sign, and sign. Now on the right here, we're going to go back to a sign directly to the right of these stairs. And then we're also going to place a spruce trap door here. And now let's quickly repeat this entire thing on the other side. So planks all the way up until we reach this block here, which is going to go back to stairs, then planks and stairs, and then all the way to the end with some more planks. We're going to place a sign to the left of the cannon here and then some spruce trap doors and some more signs, and then another sign here and another trapdoor right here. Then onto the back, all we're gonna be doing is placing a bunch of spruce planks all the way across. On the very end blocks, we're gonna place some more spruce trapdoors like so, and then we're going to link them up with some spruce signs all the way until we reach the other side. And now we're fully done with this layer of the boat. And now, so that's it for pretty much all of the layers. Now we're just gonna be creating the entire back side of the ship walls here. And to start off, we're gonna go to the right of this cannon and place a lantern. We're gonna do the same on the other side as well. Then back to this side, Side, directly next to the lantern here, we're going to place a spruce slab, and then we're going to go into some spruce stairs. Then we're going to place two planks, and then to the right of this, we're going to be placing three spruce logs like so. And then on top of this plank here, we're going to be placing some more spruce stairs. Then all the way around the top of this pillar here, we're going to place some signs, and on top of it, we're also going to be placing a spruce trap door. Then to the right of this, we're going to place two spruce planks like so. We're also going to place another two, and then another two here as well. And in between, at the top of these, we're going to be placing some upside down spruce stairs, and then in between those some spruce trap doors. I'd also actually recommend placing them like this so that you can open them up from the inside and kind of looks like a window. Then on the very end here on the corner we're going to place another three spruce logs and then on top of this we're going to place some more signs like so and also a trap door. And now we're going to repeat this entire thing on the other side. So to the left of this lantern here we're going to place a slab then some stairs then we're going to place two planks and on top of these planks here some more stairs. Then we're going to place our three spruce logs in both of the corners here. Two planks on this side in the middle and also on the left side and in between them at the top, some spruce stairs. And then finally, some spruce trap doors right here. We're also gonna place our spruce signs in all the way around on this pillar. And then on these two blocks here on this pillar, Make sure not to type on the sign like I did. And we're also going to put our spruce trap doors on top of those. Now onto the back of the boat, we're going to place an entire strip of spruce planks. Then on the sides, we're going to place more spruce planks. And then in the center here, we're going to place three upside down spruce stairs. Then we're going to connect these pillars up using some spruce fences and also spruce fence gates. And we're going to repeat this exact same thing on both of the other sides as well. Then on top of the middle fence on each side, we're gonna be placing some lanterns on. And there we go, we're pretty much done with all of the like kind of walls of the boat, I guess you could call it. Except for the wall that's gonna go here, we'll get to that in a minute. And now let's actually add in our floor for the boat. Okay, so for the floor, we're gonna go up our ladder and all of the floor blocks, which are gonna be spruce slabs, are pretty much directly in line with the ladder here. So at the very top half of the ladder block. And we're pretty much just filling in every single gap here with some spruce planks. So we're gonna fill in this entire area Area. We're also going to be replacing these full blocks here with some spruce stairs and then we can fill in the remainder of this entire section here with some spruce slabs. All right now with all of the floor done let's add in our wall that's going to be going here and to start this off let's grab out some spruce planks and we're going to be placing four in total and then another four on this side as well. We're gonna chuck our door on right here in between these. And then on the left and right side here, let's place some upside down spruce stairs and below these, some spruce trap doors like so. Then on top of the stairs here, we're gonna be placing some spruce slabs and then in between them, a full block of spruce planks. Now beside these upside down stairs here, we're gonna be placing some regular oak stairs and then we're also gonna place some more down here. And then in this gap here, we're gonna place some oak plank blocks. And now we can use these stairs to go up here and place some slabs all the way across like so. Now all the way along the back, we're gonna be placing some oak planks at the top here. Then in front of all of those, we're gonna place some spruce stairs in the middle here. And then on the right and left sides, we're gonna be placing these stairs like this. Then back over here, we're gonna be turning these slab blocks into full blocks. And then we're also gonna be placing some more spruce planks behind these, just three like this. And then we can fill in the remainder of all of the gaps here with some spruce slabs. 
Then while we're at it, we can also place our lectern on right here, and then to the left and right of that, we're gonna place some spruce trap doors. Next, it's time to create the mast at the back of the boat here. But before we get started, we're gonna have to make a skull and bones banner. And to do that, I have conveniently got everything over here that I need for it. So you're gonna need a single black banner. You're actually gonna need a bunch of these for the rest of the sail, but you're only gonna need one for the skull and bones banner. You're also gonna need a single wither skeleton skull, a piece of paper, and also some white dye. But before we go into the loom, let's actually craft our skull and bones banner pack. Pattern. And to do that, all we need is our wither skeleton skull and a piece of paper, which should give us the skull charge banner pattern. Then we can head over to our loom, place in one of our black banners, our white die, and also the banner pattern. And that should give us the white skull charge black banner thing. Now you only need one of these, so yeah. Just create one. Now we can head back over to our boat and start creating the back mast sail thing. So firstly, we're gonna be replacing this spruce slab block here with a barrel. Then we're gonna create a big pillar out of some deep slate tile wall and also spruce fence. We're gonna be alternating between these two until it is nine blocks high. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then at the very top here, we're going to place two spruce slabs or a spruce plank block. And then on top of this, we're going to place two more spruce fences and then also our skull and bones banner right here. This one is going to be facing towards like the front of the boat. Then beside our slabs or plank block here, we're going to place some more spruce slabs and then also some spruce trap doors coming away from those. Then underneath the slab and trap door on each side, we're going to be placing some spruce fences and then we're also going to connect these fences up to the main kind of pole here. Then directly below these fences, we're going to be placing some spruce slabs to the left and right of this deep slate wall block here. And we're also going to be adding in two spruce trap doors coming away from both of those slab blocks. Then underneath all of these, we're going to be placing some spruce fences. And then beneath the slab and the first spruce trap door on each side, we're going to be placing some more fences like so. Now it's time to add in all of our black banners. We're going to be placing our first ones across all of the top here. And then our second ones are going to be on these three here. Then on our second one, we're going to be placing them, of course, across the entire first row and then another strip on this row as well. And that's it for our entire back mast. Now let's move on to the front one. So starting this one off, we're gonna go in line with this stair block here. So one block to the right of the ladder, and then we're going to line this up with the center of the boat here. And on this block, we're gonna place a barrel. We're also gonna surround this barrel with some spruce signs. And then we're gonna create the exact same pillar that we did on here, except instead it's only gonna be eight blocks high. So starting off with a deep slate tile wall block. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now at the top here, we're gonna place three spruce slabs and then on the ends of those, some spruce trap doors. These are actually gonna be extended out an additional block, my bad. Then underneath all these, we're gonna be placing some spruce fences like so. We're gonna bring these fences down an additional block and then another block as well. <laughs> And now back on the other side, we're gonna fill all of these up with some black banners. And that's it, we're fully done with both of the masts. Next, let's move on to adding in all of the decorative blocks to the main area right here. So firstly, we're gonna head to the left of this cannon. We're gonna place a campfire and also extinguish it. And to the left of this, we're gonna place a barrel with a skeleton skull on top. Then towards the front of the boat here, we're gonna place a spruce slab and then also another extinguished campfire right here. Then we're gonna add another extinguished campfire. Then back over here in between these two cannons right here, we're gonna place a basalt block and surround it with some spruce trap doors so that it kind of looks like some cannonballs being stored. Then on the floor here, we're gonna remove these two slab blocks. So one block away from our barrel here, we're gonna remove these two and place in two oak trap doors in its place. Then over here, directly to the right of this cannon, we're gonna place a single chest and also a spruce trap door to the right of it. And we're gonna place one on this side as well. Now let's add in my cool capstan design. For this, you're gonna need two armor stands and a single piston and a single block of redstone. So firstly, we're gonna remove this spruce slab here. We're also gonna remove this one temporarily. And then we're gonna gonna use this block down here and kind of build over to it so that we can place a spruce slab like so. And we're also gonna remove those temporary ones and place this one back. Now on this block here, we're gonna first place an armor stand facing this way. Then we're going to need some just random blocks and kind of place them up in a pillar like so. We're gonna place another block directly above the armor stand. And on top of this, we're gonna place another armor stand that's facing the opposite direction of this one. And then we can destroy this block and let it fall down. And it kind of creates like this capstan thing. I don't really know. <laughs> now let's extend this temporary pillar up by an additional block. We're also going to be placing a spruce slab block right here. So it's going to be on the bottom half of this block, not the top half. Now directly above this, let's add in our piston. And then above that, we're going to place our block of redstone to power it. Then we're going to destroy this piston and place another piston right here to further push down the slab all the way down to here. Now we can remove all of this temporary stuff and we're all done with our cool looking capstan. Now the final thing to do in this area is just place a single lantern on top of this upside down spruce stair block right here. And now we can head up 
up to this second floor of the boat. And all the way at the back here, we're going to be placing a crafting table with a flower pot on top with a spruce sapling inside. To the right of that, we're going to place a chest. Now leaving a gap, we're going to be placing a barrel and then another chest to the right of that. And with that added in, we're fully done with pretty much all of the exterior of the boat. And now we're going to be heading in through our door and adding in our bedroom area. So firstly, let's remove the spruce slab at the very back in the middle here. And we're going to add a ladder that comes all the way up to the top like so. Then in the left and right corner, let's place in a couple of beds. And beside both of these beds, let's add in a single barrel. On top of this barrel on the left here, we're going to place a large amethyst bud. And on top of the right one, a lantern. Then let's turn around and add in a couple of double chests in these corners here. And then beside these chests, we're going to place some upside down spruce stairs. And on top of the left one, let's place a flower pot with a blue orchid. And then on top of the right one, a lantern. And now that's it for the bedroom area. Let's head down the ladder and add in everything down here. So firstly, let's head over here in front of these first strip spruce blocks here that are kind of sticking out. And in front of this, we're going to be placing some upside down spruce stairs to create a little table. And on top of this one, I'm going to place a lantern just to kind of brighten the area up a little bit. We're also going to be adding a another table over here on this side as well. And while we're at it, we might as well just add in our flower pot with an azalea inside. Then above these spruce blocks here, we can remove these slabs and then place in some barrels in its place and do the same on this side as well. And then over here, pretty much beside the ladder area, we're going to be adding in a bunch of double chests. So three double chests in total on the top and then another three on the bottom and pretty much just repeat this exact same thing on the other side. Then heading towards the front of the boat here, we're going to be placing some more double chests in these two gaps here. We're also going to add in a pillar right here in the center just to kind of make it look a little cooler, I guess. And we're also going to be turning these slab blocks here into full blocks just to get rid of this weird gap. Now we can head inside to this area. And firstly, we're going to place a strip spruce log block right here. I already have one on this side. So if you don't, then just place one in. And then we're also going to cover up this gap above them with some more spruce slabs. We're also going to do the same in this gap as well while we're at it. Then we can actually remove this slab here so two blocks away from this, so one, two, and we can remove this one as it's the barrel for the mast here. And on this, we can place our lantern. Then in this section over here, we can place in two brewing stands. We'll do the same on the other side as well. And then directly in front of them on the bottom here, on this side, we're gonna place a smithing table and a grindstone. And then on this side, we're gonna place a crafting table and an anvil. Then in this area over here, we're going to fill up the entire section on these two sides with some regular furnaces. And then all the way at the back here, we're gonna place a smoker and also a blast furnace. And we can also cover in this weird gap above the furnaces here with another spruce slab. And with that, we're now fully done with the entire pirate ship base. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe for future tutorials just like this one. And also be sure to leave a comment if you wanted to see a tutorial for those other boats that I showed towards the start of the video. Cheers for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.